Okay, the last video ended. I changed the intensity to 8. This allows me to move the instances more easily. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I get this round, um, I don't know, cursor. And you see how it allows me to move things. And if you, if your mouse moves over, so let's say I move this one and then there, it's actually moving both. Okay, so just be aware of that. Um, you can move them in any direction, but you want to kind of get them close in tight to the to the word fly away. Um, whoops. And a little overlap is okay because we're going to arrange that later. Okay, so once you have them in pretty close, then we're going to move on to the next tool. The next tool that we're going to use is going to be the symbol um, sizer, and that's the fourth one here. Now, if I click on it, it makes it bigger. And the longer my click is, <laughs> the, the greater in size it is. If I want it to go smaller, I have to hold down the Alt or Option key. And again, a longer, oops. I didn't mean to do that. A longer click will change it more rapidly. Okay, so a quick click, a longer click, and sometimes you may want to make it bigger and then smaller so that you have some random sizes. Okay, then we're going to do the symbol spinner. That's the next one on there. The symbol spinner allows you to rotate. And if you look, when you turn, the red is where the object is going to be pointing. Okay? So you can... Whoops. Position these however you would like. Okay? Um, now that we have done the sizer and the um, spinner, now it's time to go back to the shifter tool again, right here, and bring them in close. And again, a little overlap is okay because we're going to arrange that here in a little bit. And as you bring them closer, you may decide that you need to rotate them a little bit again, which I think I want to on this one, just a smidge. There we go. And then I can bring that in a little bit closer. All right. Now, with it still selected, okay, so I still have the um, this symbol set selected. So I'm going to go to the object menu, arrange, send to back. And now the text is in front and the butterflies are in the back, okay? Now, at this point, I, want, I do want my selection tool because I want to select everything on my artboard or on my canvas. So I'm going to have that selected, and now I'm actually going to create this as a symbol. Okay, so I'm going to drag this over, and I'm going to call this logo and butterflies. Whoops, having trouble typing. And again, movie clip with a center registration. Okay, so now you see that all of your work is over there so that you could use it again if necessary. Okay, all right, now we want to edit these symbols. So if we click, or sorry, double click on Butterfly 03, that's this one here, this places a temporary instance of the symbol on the artboard. So let's go ahead and do that. See how it's opened up and it says I'm in Butterfly 03. I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit to make it easier. What we want to do actually is fill in where this light gray color is. We're going to use that same yellow, RGB yellow, that's in the text or the logo. So I'm going to go to the eyedropper tool. Um, actually, not the eyedropper tool yet. I want to first off select yellow. There we go. And now my eyedropper tool. And now if I Oh, whoops, sorry. 
Okay. I know it's that yellow, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, and now what I want to do is simply use my Alt to click, there we go, with my eyedropper tool, and it's going to fill all of those light gray. Now, if you accidentally click on a line or on a different part, just Command Z to back yourself out. Okay, so now we've edited this butterfly. It looks a little bit different, a little bit better. I'm going to go back, and now if I see the whole page, now the butterflies match my text. And if I drag, and here was my logo, if I drag that on, look at it. It's the same logo as what's right there. Okay, so at this point, what I want you to do is go ahead and save it. Make sure that when you save that you do a um, period number. Put in your last name. Whoops. And then you'll also save for web. A JPEG because that's what's going to be what you put on your Google site.